Hey everyone, what's going on? Jeff here from Films at Home, and today I am back with another Top 10 video. Today I'm going to be covering the best 4K releases of classic movies in this Top 10 list. So because I had to draw a line somewhere and everybody has different definitions of what is considered classic, I drew the line at 60 years old. So since I'm making this video in 2022, these are all movies that came out in either 1962 or earlier. That's been my definition of classic that I use to create this top 10 list. Now, typically my rankings only focus on your audio and video quality of the 4K disc, but in this case, this list probably has 10 of the best movies ever made, and I don't think there's a single movie on this list that isn't considered to be a critical success as well as a successful 4K release with great visuals and great audio. So if you're looking for the best 4K discs from this era, from the pre, you know, 1962, kind of in the 40s and 50s is where we're going to live here. If that's what you're looking for, this will be a great list. But it's also a really good list if you're just looking for 10 great classic movies to buy and watch on your 4K TV. So I'm not going to go in any particular order because I really would be splitting hairs here. Since this is a pretty short list, there isn't much to choose from pre-1962, and honestly, all of them are excellent. There are a few honorable mentions that easily could have made this list that I had to cut off to make a top 10, but every single one of these discs is at least a 4.5, if not a 5 out of 5, from that visual perspective in the 4K transfer. So to rank them 1 through 10 was almost impossible. I tried to do it. I really couldn't wrap my head around it so i'm just going to give you the top 10 list here now quick before we get started if you like physical media blu-ray 4k collecting home theater reviews things of that nature please subscribe to the channel help us hit our goal of 100,000 subscribers here in 2022 would really appreciate that and now let's get right into the list so if you've been watching my channel for a while this probably comes as no surprise but i had to add this to the top 10 list for classic movies and it is the 10 commandments this is simply one of the greatest most epic movies ever made but also one one of the best 4k discs the visuals here are insane it seriously looks like the movie could have been made within the last 20 years not within the last 70. it is an amazing disc amazing visuals incredible audio a great restoration and i think it's a must own for anybody who's into collecting 4k plus the movie's pretty good whether you're religious or not it's a very good story it's well crafted cecil b demille is an incredible director and did some really wonderful things the set pieces the set design the costumes everything in this is just incredible so i highly recommend giving it a watch and if you own the 4k disc that's certainly a great way to watch it now for this next one we're going way back into the 40s and we're going to be doing it's a wonderful life now on the 4k disc you've got a black and white version and on the blu-ray that's included there is a colorized version but let me say this don't waste your time with the colorized version the black and white release looks incredible in 4k hdr is really a revelation when you first watch a black and white movie because you realize how you weren't really getting black and white before you were sort of getting gray and lighter gray and now you really get true black and white with movies like it's a wonderful life on 4k the hdr is a game changer for those movies and this 4k restoration brings out a ton of detail from what must have been a pretty well preserved original source because it really does look great so we're going to stick with the 1940s here we're going to come into 1948 just post world war ii and this is the red shoes this is the criterion 4k release and this is one of the best 4ks that i've reviewed and maybe the best criterion 4k blu-ray to date i just did a full review of this on my channel but if you haven't watched it go check that out for more screenshot comparisons and a real good look into why this is such a great movie but it basically comes down to the fact that it's one of these technicolor marvels from the 40s and 50s the color is insane with hdr and the restoration work that was done here is incredible even though the restoration dates all the way back to 2009 this is still one of the best looking 4k discs i have in my collection and is certainly one of the best looking of the time period if not the best looking disc from the 1940s it is hands down one of the most gorgeous 4ks out there plus as most of these are the movie's great so that helps when you're watching 
if you watch a great movie in 4K, that's a lot better than watching a bad movie with great 4K visuals. And luckily, all the ones on this list are just great movies as well. So now I'm going to jump into the 1950s and 1959 to be specific with Anatomy of a Murder. Now, this comes from the Columbia Classics Volume 2 set. So if you don't have that set, unfortunately, you can't own Anatomy of a Murder on 4K. But if you do have that set, Anatomy of a Murder, I think, was the finest transfer there and was one of the best 4K discs out of that set, either Volume 1 or Volume 2. So I definitely recommend it. The movie, of course, classic, great movie great performances but the 4k restoration here is really well done it's a sony columbia title you know they do it right and this looks awesome so if you can get your hands on volume two it's still out there it's not out of print yet you can still get it for a pretty decent price I'd recommend it because all the other movies in the set are great as well. Taxi Driver, Oliver, some really good classics in there, Stripes. Um, but Anatomy of a Murder, I think, is the highlight for me. And it easily is one of the best classic movies on 4K. So hopefully someday we get an individual release of this. But for now, Columbia Classics Volume 2 is going to be your best bet. So now since we're in the 50s, I figure let's stay in the 50s and let's go to 1957 with The Bridge on the River Kwai. This was an incredible 4K release from Sony and I'm honestly surprised that it didn't end up in one of their Columbia Classics sets because I do believe, yeah, it is a Columbia Pictures title and it definitely deserves to be in one of those sets, but it's also nice to know that they did this as an individual release because the 4K is awesome. This is the 60th anniversary edition. It's a brand new 4K scan, completely restored with HDR just a wonderful picture and again one of the best movies ever made it won like what is it seven Academy Awards yeah best picture best director best actor for Alec Guinness these movies are all incredibly well crafted and are amazing movies that anybody interested in film have to watch and the wonderful thing is we get them all in 4k now with this new technology and all these new restorations and bridge on the river kwai is an excellent one that you need to check out and if you're going to well you might as well check it out in 4k so if I had expanded my timeline a little bit and considered classics to be, say, 50 years old instead of 60 years old, and we got into some of the late 60s, uh, early 70s, this director would have shown up a lot more on this list because he has some excellent 4K releases out there. But because I kind of set my parameters back a little bit, he only has one on the list, and it's Stanley Kubrick with Spartacus. Now, I've got the 4K Steelbook here. There is also a 4K standard release, but Spartacus blew me away when I first watched it on 4K. I think it's one of the finest transfers that Universal has done. It's right up there with Jaws. It's that level of good. Plus, of course, the movie is incredible. It has really good audio, great HDR usage. The colors really pop. And you can't go wrong with Stanley Kubrick in one of the greatest movies of all time with maybe one of the most famous phrases of any movie of all time. Because as you know, um, I'm Spartacus. You're Spartacus. We're all Spartacus. So now we're going way back to the oldest movie on this list, but one that I could argue should be in the number one slot, maybe of any 4K restoration, but definitely could compete with movies like The Ten Commandments for the number one spot on a list like this. And it is The Wizard of Oz on 4K. Now, this movie's 1939, right? 80 years old when this restoration came out. This was the 80th anniversary, but Warner Brothers did an amazing job. This is another Technicolor movie. Pay attention if you see any movies that are, are crafted with Technicolor on 4K. They're going to look awesome. But The Wizard of Oz, the, the transition from sepia tone to, to full color is incredible. Always incredible. It's a great movie moment. It's almost like a, a transition of the, of the new um, color pictures, right? It, it's almost showing you film history happening. But when that transition happens on 4K, it's incredible. The rest of this movie looks awesome. They must have had a great source because detail and clarity are beyond what most movies can even produce, even modern shot stuff. I think it looks incredible. It sounds incredible. It has excellent color grading, really pops off your screen. And if you haven't seen The Wizard of Oz on 4K, I have to say you really haven't seen The Wizard of Oz. This is the way to watch it. It's got to be even better than it looked in theaters. So now to round out this list, we actually have a couple of classics collections, both from Universal. 
Um, but I'm going to pick a few movies out of each one. Now, the first one is the Universal Classic Monster set. And while all four of these movies, Dracula, Frankenstein, The Invisible Man, and The Wolfman, looked incredible, I'm picking out Frankenstein as my favorite. The Frankenstein restoration here was really well done. It really improved a lot of the image. And again, you haven't seen black and white until you've seen black and white on 4K with HDR. It is a different ball game. There are elements of Frankenstein that you literally would not have been able to make out on a Blu-ray or DVD release. And if you haven't seen it or only seen like cable TV versions of it, it gets super muddy. It's an old source. Universal went back and completely cleaned this thing up and it was my favorite. Dracula is a close second, but Frankenstein just looks in Incredible. It's one of the best black and white movies out there, right up with It's a Wonderful Life. The detail is amazing for a movie of this age. We're talking 70, 80 years old for some of these movies, and it's just incredible what good restoration work can do. Universal's been doing an excellent job with restoration through their catalog, and I thought Frankenstein was their finest, but this whole set is well worth purchasing if you can get your hands on it. Now, to round out this list, we've got to talk about the best classics collection in my my opinion and that is the Alfred Hitchcock classics collection now I could have chosen any of these although the birds I think is 1963 so it didn't make the cut but rear window vertigo and psycho all incredible on 4k but I chose vertigo and psycho vertigo and psycho are both two movies and I've reviewed actually all of these on my channel if you want to see full 4k reviews but vertigo especially was a revelation. It's like these incredible movies from the 50s that are 70 years old, amazing set design, cinematography, performances, and then watching them in 4K with HDR. It's like watching a pristine film print, which is doesn't exist. It, it probably didn't even exist when the movie came out because by the time they got to movie theaters, they probably had scratches and nicks and dirt on them and stuff like that. Like, it's as good as you could ever watch these movies. And Vertigo was one that just opened my eyes again to why I've invested in the 4K format in the home theater, because it blew me away. And then you've got Psycho, which is black and white, right? And we've already talked about how good black and white movies can look. And Psycho is one of my favorite movies of all time. I think it's the greatest horror movie of all time. Without Psycho, you just don't get movies like Halloween. You don't get movies like Friday the 13th. You don't get that stuff in that whole slasher genre. You don't get psychological horror. You don't get that without Psycho. Psycho laid the groundwork for, for all of that stuff. And that's why it's so influential. It's one of my favorite horror movies and, and one of the best of all time. And the 4K release looks awesome with black and white. Again, you're getting like real deep, inky blacks. Like shutting off your screen at night, TV screen, like that level of black is what you get with HDR. It's a deep, dark black, but you also get these really vibrant, bright whites. And so rather than watching kind of dark gray and light gray, you truly do get that black and white experience. And I know I've said this a few times, but it's important because these classic movies often get overlooked when it comes to 4K, but they really deserve the 4K treatment. And when they get it, they look incredible. That rounds out the list. Vertigo and Psycho are must-haves, but that whole Hitchcock set is a must-have. The whole Universal Classics uh, monster set is a must-have, and the rest of these are all must-haves as well. They're great movies. They have excellent 4K transfers, and every collector should own them and watch them and appreciate them. So I really liked making this video because it does speak to this fact that you know 4K as a format it's really more important for older movies and restorations. Avengers Endgame looks great on Blu-ray, looks great on 4K. The difference between the two of those is negligible, in my opinion. I would buy a Blu-ray of a new Marvel movie because I don't think I'm getting anything extra on 4K. These older movies really benefit the most from this upgrade in resolution because when you're working with an old film source, you're working with really old film grain, and you have this new HDR coloring technology, you can do so much with an older movie and really bring it back to life, bring it back to almost its original source. So I can't recommend classic movies enough. These movies are all awesome. You have to watch them and appreciate them. And if you have the 4K technology, 
Um, these are must-haves. I know there are great digital 4K shot releases out there, the Gemini Man, Suicide Squad, stuff like that that looks awesome. I agree, they do look awesome, but these... This is the reason to really invest in the technology. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it, putting it together, and revisiting some of these movies that I'd sort of almost forgotten, you know, had 4K releases in a couple of cases. But I'm glad I, I revisited, rewatched a few of them. Um, they're, it's just a lot of fun. So hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll leave all the links to each of these down in the description. If you buy through those links, that helps support my channel. So I do appreciate that. But also make sure you check out all the other links down in my description because there's lots of ways you can support my channel and some of our channel partners through those links. Also, make sure to follow me on social media, Twitter, TikTok, Instagram. I'm all over the place on all those platforms. So follow me over there. Say hi, follow along, leave a comment, retweet, share, whatever you got to do. And of course, make sure you're subscribed, like this video, and leave me a comment if I missed any classics. If I missed a classic you like or you thought one should have made the list, definitely let me know. Maybe there's a chance I don't own it yet and I really should. So I'm always interested to hear about um, new 4k releases some stuff maybe overseas that i don't have i'm all ears so let me know in the comments what you guys think about that but that's it for the video so thank you for watching hope you guys enjoyed it have a great rest of your day stay safe stay healthy out there and i will talk to you all soon